What's going on? How you doing? My name is David Crook and today I have a video for you on how to soft clip your kick for your beats in Logic Pro X. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like. What we're going to be doing is kind of the same as you would do if you're using FL Studio. I don't really use FL Studio. I use Logic because I like using Logic a lot better than FL Studio. I know in FL Studio, one of the big things is soft clipping your click to make it like punch and make it pretty much cut through the mix and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Logic Pro X just using one plugin I have a beat here I called it shark I don't know why I called it shark but I called it shark I'm gonna play the beat so you can hear the beat and then you can hear the kick and then how it's gonna sound after we soft clip the kick and if you're looking for beats go to my website I have a bunch of free beats there I'm also gonna upload this beat soon onto my website for free so if you want to download the beat and rap on it go for it everything will be down below in the description <music> So that's the beat right there. Obviously the beat is not mixed, it's not finished. But other than that, as you could tell, this kick is pretty weak. The way to soft clip your kick in Logic Pro X is simple. All you need is one plugin, that plugin is Overdrive. This is a stock Logic Pro X plugin. Just go to Distortion, go to Overdrive. When you first add the plugin, Overdrive onto your kick, it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna be a lot louder, first of all which sounds cool, but when you add it, it changes the dynamics, the transients of the kick. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn this tone all the way up. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna grab all of the kick from 20,000 Hertz onto, if you wanna cut the kick and just wanna overdrive certain part of your kick, you can move this knob here, but for the most part, we're just gonna turn it all the way on. We're gonna put the output at negative 0.5, that way it kinda adds like a little limiter to it so you can push it as high as you want or as far as you want with the fader and it's not gonna distort the kick. And then you're gonna be messing with this drive knob here. Simplest way is just to keep it at zero and it's gonna sound just louder. So if I were to solo the kick, that's it with just regular soft clip. And this is without it. So it makes it louder but I kind of want to add some drive. I want to add like some grittiness to it. That way it just punches a little bit more. So I just mess with this knob here. It makes it a lot louder. It makes it a lot punchier and just mess with this drive. Obviously, if you're using the kick for a certain reason is because you like the sound of a kick, whether it has a lot of air, a lot of low end, whatever you prefer the kick because there's just thousands of different kicks. You just want to make sure it stays to that sound, like make sure you kind of don't tweak it too much because then you start getting like a different sound kick and then if you, you're probably not going to like it at the end. It all depends. Sometimes messing with this, you're going to make a kick that you actually like and then you could save it and then that would be like your own personal kick. But for the most part, this is how you soft clip your kick in Logic Pro X. <music> That's pretty much it. And that's all you need to do to soft clip your kick in Logic Pro X. It's very simple, it's very easy. And then from here you just do EQs and little things here and there. For the most part, I don't really touch kicks just because a lot of times the kicks you get off drum kits are already processed, they're already compressed, they're EQ'd how the creator of the kick intended the kick to be. So I honestly just do little tweaks here and there. I don't really do too much to my drums in general. And like I said, this beat will be down below in the description for my website. You could download this beat for free. I also have different other types of beats on my website. Check it out. Now, if you want me to mix your song or mix your beat, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or email me down below. Everything will be down below in the description. And I hope to see you in the next video. My name is David the Crook. Peace.